Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Now we're talking about the famous Celine Triumph belt. I have them in two colors. I will be covering everything about these belts from the sizes to some pros and cons. I will be trying them on and I will be sharing some mod shots. Now these belts are beautiful, but are they really worth the hype? Let's find out. If you're new here, hi, my name is Angela and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. If you love anything fashion and luxury, you're really gonna love it here. So click the subscribe button as well and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you will get notified every single time I post a new video. Now let's get comfortable, grab yourself a snack, a drink, and let's jump right into the video. Now Celine and the Triumph Collection has really had its moment for the last few years. I think Celine in general, the new Celine, has really been in the spotlight, I think especially due to the Triumph Collection, in my opinion. Now, like I said in the intro, I have two Celine belts. They come in this really, really cute dust bag. I think this is so freaking cute. It's so adorable. To be honest, you can use these for I don't know, like makeup, or you can just store them. They're very durable as well. Now here they are. So I have the black one and I have the tan one. So I will be comparing them as well. But first let's talk about the size. Now this is a question that I see a lot when I personally looked up photos or reviews or videos on this belt. And this belt is in the size medium. So this belt actually comes in three sizes, I believe. You have the smallest one, and then you have the medium one, which is called the teen. And this is the biggest one, and it's called the medium. So this is the medium Triumph belt in smooth calfskin, in the black leather. So the width of this belt is one inch, so that is two and a half centimeters. So this is what it looks like. It has the gold buckle, and then you have um, two belt loops right here. It is not adjustable, so this can't move. It is stay put here. And on the inside, it says Celine Paris. And then here it says made in Italy with the code and uh, the size 80 is the size that I have it in. And it is the same for the tan belt. Now, I love the tan as well. So everything is basically the same with the tan one. And here they are side by side, but there are some differences in these belts. So for the tan one, mostly same specs, only this one is a natural calfskin. So the black one is a smooth calfskin and you can see by the finish that it's very um, shiny and it has sort of a coating and the one in natural does not have a coating. It is more of a matte finish. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that the black one just has regular black stitching and the tan one has a contrast stitching, which I think is so, so beautiful. I just, I really, really love both and that's why I got them both. So I actually mentioned these belts in my accessories wishlist video and there I said that I wanted to get the Celine belt in tan and the black one from YSL, but I saw the one from YSL. It's nice, but as soon as I saw these, I was just over the moon. I, I was so in love and I think they are so elegant and beautiful. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. They each have their own pros and cons, but let me just start with the main pro and it is that these belts are gorgeous. They are so, so beautiful. Like I said, they elevate every single outfit. I think that you can dress them down, you can just wear them with some jeans, but you can also wear it with a skirt or even a dress over a coat, a blazer. They are just so versatile and that's why I love them and I have them in both colors. 
Now the black one, because it is a coated leather, it is shinier, but it is more durable. So if you want something that is a little bit more durable, that you can wear for every day, it doesn't really scratch or show a lot of wear, this is probably the belt that you want. Now the tan, because it is a natural calfskin leather, it is more prone to scratches and wear. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's already a few hairline scratches. And this is what makes it, in my opinion, very special and beautiful because it looks a little bit more vintage, if you will. And I really like that. I love the contrast stitching. This is just a great summer belt. And to be honest, all year round, like I think tan is such a beautiful and very easy color to style with any color, especially if you wear neutrals. I don't think the tan belt is only suitable for spring and summer, but it is also very suitable for the fall and the winter season. Now, when it comes to the black one, I honestly don't have any cons. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful belt. Maybe one con would be that it's a little bit shiny. And that is something that I do like about the tan one. It is more of a matte look. So I feel like that is a little bit more casual in my opinion, but the black one could look a little bit more elevated. So if that is not really your cup of tea, then you could maybe go for the tan one. But to be honest, you can't go wrong with either of these. They are so beautiful. They are so timeless. I just love the Triumph logo and I'm just very, very happy that I have both of these colors. Now, next up, I wanna show you guys some mod shots. Like I said, these belts you can wear with anything. And today's outfit is just super simple. It's a lighter outfit. And I just think that both belts just work perfectly with this look. Um, one tip is that if you are looking for your belt size, try on the belt in store. Even with the same size for every belt, it could fit a little bit differently depending on the brand, of course. And like I said before, these belts are super, super hyped up all over social media. And do I think it's worth the hype? Absolutely, yes. I compared a lot of other luxury brands and Celine just kills it with their quality and their design are very minimal and classic. And that's why I just highly recommend the Celine Triumph belts in any color, to be honest. I think even in both leathers, I think they're amazing. You really can't go wrong. But if you just have to pick one, go for the black smooth leather. But I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.